action. Hello. Hey. Welcome to a rare Sunday edition of Coffee with the Masons. Rare Sunday hot, humid, muggy, and oh dear lord, it's hot edition. Remember that discussion we had yesterday about mercury in retrograde in electronics? I do. So what happened as you were preparing for this video? Well, you That's know, um... I, uh, I I listen to music when I'm working out in the yard, so I have he my Bluetooth. to music when he's doing everything. I have my Bluetooth earbuds in, and I was making the coffee, and I had one in this ear, so I did like this to bend over to plug in the coffee pot, and this one fell out right into the water. Splash. They're hanging up drying, but we 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 need prayer for his earbuds. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> so he's probably on his way to Walmart in just a bit to go buy another pair of earbuds. She says I have to go because yeah, she doesn't Yeah, I can't go. put up with him without... She don't want me not musicking because I love music. Oh, look, a wasp. Mm. Go away. I can't I can't deal with you without your music. I love you. I can't deal with music without my music. Okay, so the whole point of today's video is all these government cheese. Government. Now, I, now tell us a story about why you would call it government cheese. All right, so when I was in the pokey. I thought you were going to go back to your childhood when you were poor and you had to eat government cheese. No, that wasn't government cheese. That was real cheese. We would just wrap it around a raw hot dog and eat it. That's disgusting. We didn't have bread. We was broke. Okay, yeah, tell the story. We was poor. Anyway, when I was in the pokey, i.e. the jail, you know, the hooskow, the, the gulag, they would bring us sandwiches. Not sandwiches, sandwiches. And they had cheese on them. Well, if you were lucky enough to work on a, a road detail, you could take your sandwiches with the cheese with you, and then they would have microwaves. So you would nuke this sandwich to try and melt the cheese a little bit, but it would just curl up on the corners and turn a darker shade of orange. Government cheese. Which brings us to today's video. All these government dip cheese. All right, now. Clancy's. Now put that down for a minute. Cheese dip. Now, the point, what I was trying to do yesterday, hold that up. This is the con queso, which looks a whole lot like the government cheese. I, I was trying to get a couple scoops of that. If you're quick, you would you would stop, you see stop, the confusion. Stop. Mix it with some all these chili beans. Decolus. Microwave it. Yeah, and, and it also makes this go a little further. Mm -hmm. um, microwave it for a minute. And then here's your, here's your dipper. Big dipper. Snack, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So, so what she did was she added more of this, no, and no, she no, did no. Of this. No, 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 I picked up that by accident. So, talk about what, what, talk what, about. what happened was she put this in the cheese dip, the dip. No, with that the was beans. the dip the other day, and um, we we put it in the nuke, the nuke box or the microwave, and this did not melt. Any more than it was already melted. It was it, it was. it was a big clump of government cheese dip. Surrounded by ish. surrounded by a bowl of brown beans and yeah. Um, what do you call that thing? Thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't buy this. Clancy's. It cheese doesn't dip, dip, it doesn't spread, bad, it doesn't melt. Bad. If you plan on putting it on tacos, burritos, chimichangas, chalupas, anything of that, don't do it. Don't do it. All you're going to do is make yourself mad because you're going to have a big old hot clump of cheese dip. I think I got that because I thought the grandkids would like it. Yeah. And yeah. No, it Clancy's, doesn't. No. No. No, no. This is what you want. Yes. Right yes, there. Yes. That's the good stuff. That right there is the good stuff. Okay. Now that we're, we're just gonna leave that off to the side there. Um, and so you, so focus, focus. Yep. focus. So thanks for watching Coffee with the Masons. I have coffee. She I has coffee, coffee with the Masons. It's hot and humid today and he's not coping well. We don't want him to fry his brain. So he goes out and saws a bit, and nails a bit, and then comes in and Moans a bit. Bless him. Bless him. Do you have a word for us? 
I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans chapter 12, verse number 1. Was that the one that came up today? Mm -hmm. On your Bible app? That was my verse of the day. Yes. And that was one of your favorite at the your that one, is of, one your of my favorite, favorite verses. Yes. Verses is, yes. All right. yes. Yes. I would say it's probably number two on the list of my verses. Alright. Yes. So you're gonna go shopping and go buy some I'm more gonna have earbuds? to go shopping and buy me some more earbuds. I'm not really looking forward to it because I didn't want to spend the money on them. But it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll my wife right. has informed me, my financier has informed me that it will be all right. It'll be so, all right. So on a, on another note, um I want to reach out to the ones that are struggling with addiction. Any kind of addiction. It doesn't have to be drugs. It could be alcohol, shopping, gambling, porn, um, power, any kind of addiction whatsoever. This trying time that we're living in, it is not over. We have not yet reached the apex. We are not on the downhill side of this thing yet. We're still struggling to run uphill. Anybody with an addiction is going to find this time of their life a little harder than other times not only do you want to go get whatever it is you're addicted to or you want to be a part of whatever it is you're addicted to but you don't have the money to do so which causes you to do horrible horrible things please don't please take a minute to breathe take a minute to pray take a minute to ask god to help you help you help you with your addiction he will he's promised never to leave or forsake you and I believe that promise because he didn't leave or forsake me. He kept a strong woman, of course, by my side. But if you lean on God, I promise you, you'll get more support than you will from that, whatever it is you're addicted to. That's so, good. There you go. Oh, I have another, I have one more bit of, what, 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 what was I doing this morning that you found so funny? Oh, yeah. My wife praying to God. She, she says a little prayer to God and it looks at me like... There you go. It's all good now. We're good. What were we praying about? Pray about a couple of things. Your teeth. Yeah, me finding my, my, my Still teeth. can't find his teeth. Still can't find my, my front plate. And you get some motivation. 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 Motivation yeah. is what most people call that. We have a little different uh, yeah. language that we use. Um, motivation is coming and going in spurts. It's, it's hot. It's muggy. Sticky like working in a sponge. Middle of a sponge with hot water in it. it is what it is. You know, I live in the South. I can't change it. Might as well go with it. Yeah. But uh, other than that, what else we got going on? I'm going to mow this evening. She's not going to mow this evening. I'm going to mow this evening. The yard's still saturated. She is not going to no, mow this evening. No, it's not that bad right through here. I'm going to have to body slam her. Okay. You shouldn't do that on camera. I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't like, there's a button for that too. And, and watch out, watch out for your electronics for the next. Yeah, don't drop them in water for the next month, month and a half. It's gonna be nasty. Oh, that's the second thing electronically we'll have bought in two days. I'll run a roll. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this. Yesterday, my other phone, the dinosaur I've been using, froze up on me. Listen. I mean nothing. Couldn't get nothing. As soon as we go buy our new phone, it unfreezes. But it's old. It'll be nice. And, it is old. It'll be a nice little old. Android device for the house. Sure. It'll be mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching. Bug. And uh, we come back tomorrow with another whole topic. It's oh, possible. I have a topic for tomorrow. Oh, boy. I have a topic for tomorrow. The topic is, what advice would you give your younger self? Or maybe we'll do it today. <laughs> <laughs> Step away <laughs> from the baggies. Step away from the shiny things. <laughs> if it comes in a small bag, it's bad for you. Don't do that dope. Don't do that dope. Don't do that dope. Don't do that. all you, life to live. If you see the guy with the handcuffs, he's not friendly. But, but. There was in, the one guy. In conjunction with that, how do you, how, how would you tell your younger self to battle some demons? I'd grab him by the nap of his neck, rub his nose in it, beat him with the newspaper. That's what I would do. I'm not sure that approach will work for you now. I mean, I'm not a puppy now. Ain't nothing but a hound doggy crying all the time. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs>
All right, this went. This video went to heck. Yeah, straight to heck. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. Stay cool. I don't even know how it happened. Bye, Bye guys.